badge for clarinet player. Mr. Omer, South Sum of Bands, here to help the horns learn their beginning scales on a single horn. You'll notice all of these fingerings are without the trigger fingering because I don't have a trigger. And you don't either. So let's learn no trigger fingerings. Although you should be aware that once you get a trigger, a lot of the notes kind of above this G uh, have trigger fingerings and they make them a little bit easier to play. Not necessarily better, but usually easier. Uh, but let's break down the scale a little bit. First, we are in sharps or flats? That's right, sharps, how many? Four, name them. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. This is tricky, that means a little more than half of these are sharp, and uh, if you actually if you want to count eight, it is exactly half if you double count the E at the both at the top of the bottle. But anyway, four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Take the last sharp, go up a half step, boom, that's the name of our key. You need to know that because you won't always have a scale sitting there. You might just have a key signature with four sharps and be like, what key is this? Well, it's E. And now you know. F, C, G, go up a half step, E. Okay, so E is our first note. E is right there. Nice and open. Of course, your hand's going to be here, right? Changing your sound a little bit. But my hand's not because I'm moving a mouse. So starting with E, I get F sharp. That's two. I go up to G. And it's not G, is it? It's G sharp. Which is two and three. Remember that fingering from an A flat? A flat and G sharp are N harmonics, so I can use that two, three fingering. Next one's A sharp. Just kidding. It's not an A sharp. Uh, it would have been in our last key, but this fourth note in the sharps as I go in the order we go in our, in our school. Uh, the fourth note's always the one that's going to change. It used to be sharp. It's not anymore. So now it's an A natural. One and two. Next note's a B natural. And then I go up to the C sharp. One and two. And D is not open or one. This is a D sharp, which is two. And then the E at the top finally open. So now playing through the whole thing and then I'll empty my spit out of this thing. scale just one note to beginners you can play this down an octave but a lot of the fingerings change for instance you have to start on your low E which is not open even though the high one is and the middle one is sorry the high one and this one the next one down is actually one and two which this clarinet player is not very good at getting at so there you go uh, but if you're a trombone player switching over to this, you'd be okay playing the lower octave and starting. And don't duck your lips like I just did. Uh, you just got to make sure you're decoding everything right on your on your fingering chart. It is your friend. Use it. Memorize them. And make sure you're not just memorizing finger patterns, but you are naming the notes. Let's name them one last time, shall we? Because I screwed up once and I don't want to anymore. E, F sharp. G sharp, A, B, C sharp. I'm double checking my fingering on this. That's right. D sharp, E is open. And I'm not going back down. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.